Hello everyone! Today, we're going to discuss week number 7, which is the system of linear equations in two variables. So, let us start! Let us first define what is the meaning of system of linear equations. A system of linear equations is set of two or more linear equations that have variables in common. A pair of equations of the form a sub 1 x plus b sub 1 y is equal to c sub 1 where a sub 1 and b sub 1 are not both equal to 0. a sub 2 x plus b sub 2 y is equal to c sub 2 where a sub 2 and b sub 2 are not both equal to 0. This is called the system of linear equations in two variables. Let us have an example of system of linear equations in two variables. So take a look at number 1. We have y is equal to 2x minus 3. That is our equation 1. And y is equal to 2x plus 1. That is our equation number 2. So as you can see, the system is composed of two linear equations. Next, example number 2. Y equals X minus 5, that is our equation 1. And Y equals negative X plus 3, that is our equation number 2. Example number 3. Y is equal to 2X minus 3, that is our equation 1. And Y is equal to 2X plus 4, that is our equation number 2. Now take note that, each equation in the given examples is written in slope-intercept form or y is equal to mx plus b. Since it is easy to graph to identify the slope of the line if the equation is written in that form. And take note that uh, on the given example, we have two equations but it can exceed two or more linear equations. So those are the examples of the systems of linear equations into variables. Now, let us graph each system of linear equations and let us describe the graph. So the given equation 1, y is equal to 2x minus 3. And equation 2, y is equal to 2x plus 1. Now, this system is already graphed on the right. This color blue is the graph of y equals 2x minus 3. And color pink, the line pink, is the graph of y equals 2x plus 1. Now, based on the graph, let us try to answer the following. For your activity number 1, and it must be answered on your paper and to be passed uh, to your advisor. Okay, so let us answer the following. Number one, letter A. What is the slope of equation one? Letter B. What is the slope of equation number two? Next, number two. What is y-intercept of letter A, equation one? And letter B, equation 2. Next, number 3. Compare the slope of the two lines. Are they equal or are they different? And question number 4. Describe the graph of the two lines. Is it parallel, intersecting, or coinciding? So try to answer the following questions again on a sheet of paper. Let's proceed to the second problem. Okay, let us graph the system of linear equation and example number 2 and let us describe the graph. For our equation 1, we have y is equal to x minus 5 and equation 2, y is equal to negative x plus 3. Now, let us try to graph. Alright, so that is the graph of our system. Which is the graph of equation 1? Okay, the blue line is the graph of equation 1 which is y is equal to x minus 5. 
how about the graph of equation 2 that's right the pink line is the graph of equation 2 which is y is equal to negative x plus 3 okay based on the graph let us answer activity number 2 on a sheet of paper question number 1 what is the slope of equation 1 and letter b what is the slope of equation 2 next question number 2 what is y-intercept of equation 1? And letter B, y-intercept of equation 2. Next, number 3. Compare the slope of the two lines. Are they similar or are they different? And question number 4. Describe the graph of the two lines. Is it parallel? Is it intersecting? Or is it coinciding? answer the questions on a sheet of paper now let's proceed to the next problem okay so let us grab each system on example number three and let us describe the graph for our equation one we have y equals 2x plus 2 and equation two we have 2y is equal to 4x plus 4 now let us try to grab the system Take a look at the system. Okay, the blue line that you can see, the thicker blue line, is the graph of y equals 2x plus 2. While the pink line is the graph of 2y equals 4x plus 4. What can you say about the graph? So let us try to answer the following based on the graph. Activity number 3, answer the following questions. Number 1, what is the slope of equation 1? And what is the slope of equation 2? Number 2, what is y-intercept of equation 1 and equation 2? Next, number 3, compare the slope of the two lines. Are they similar, the same slope, or they do a different slope and question number four describe the graph of the two lines are they parallel intersecting or coinciding so you are going to answer the activity on a sheet of paper now let us try to uh, to explain more on the system of linear equations how do we classify the system of linear equations? To classify the system of linear equations into variable, we must write the equation in slope-intercept form as what I've said earlier and compare their, their slope and y-intercept. So let us have the classification number one. If their slopes are different, magkaibang slope, yung M, then the system is consistent with independent equations and it has a single or it has only one solution so take a look at the example y equals 2x minus 5 and y equals negative x plus 3 let us try to graph the given system okay so what can you say about the graph what can you say about the slope the y-intercept so let us explain now the slope of equation 1 is equal to 2. And the slope of equation 2 is equal to negative 1. So take a look at the slope. They have different slope. And y-intercept of equation 1 is negative 5. Y-intercept of equation 2 is positive 3. So they also have different y-intercept. Now, since they have different slope, we can say that the graph of the line is intersecting nag intersect dito sa point na to okay therefore if the graph of the line is intersecting if the equation of the line has different slope we can say that the line or the linear equation or the system is consistent independent and it has one solution all right so, let's proceed 
to the second classification. Okay, classification number two. If their slopes are equal and y-intercepts are also equal, then the system is consistent with dependent equations and has infinite number. Infinite. Napakaraming number ng solutions. So, take a look at the example. y is equal to x plus 1. That is equation 1. And 2y is equal to 2x plus 2. That is equation number 2. Let us try to graph. Okay. That is the graph of y equals x plus 1. And that is also the graph of 2y equals 2x plus 2. So, what can you say about the graph? Now, take a look at the slope of equation 1. The slope of equation 1 is equal to 1. And its y-intercept is also 1. Now, if we are going to simplify 2y is equal to 2x plus 2, the result is the same as equation 1. Therefore, the slope of equation 2 is equal to 1 and y-intercept is equal to 1. So, we can say that they have the same slope and they have the same y-intercept. Therefore, what can you say about the graph? Very good! The graph of the lines are coinciding. Nagpatong. Iisa lang. No? Nagpatong yung graph nila. Coinciding. Therefore, if that is coinciding, we can say that the graph is consistent. The system is consistent. The system is dependent. And it has infinite number of solutions. That is the second classification let's move on the third classification if their slopes are equal but different y-intercept the system is inconsistent and it has no solutions let us have an example okay take a look at the example y is equal to 2x minus 1 y is equal to 2x plus 4. Okay, so that is the graph. Take a look at the graph. The blue line is the graph of y equals 2x minus 1. While the pink line is the graph of y is equal to 2x plus 4. Now, let us try to compare the slope. The slope of equation 1 is equal to 2. And its y-intercept is equal to negative 1. While the slope of equation 2, rather that is equation 2, is equal also to 2 and its y-intercept is equal to positive 4. So obviously, they have the same slope but different in y-intercept. Now, kindly describe the line, the line R. Very good. The graph of the lines are parallel. Magkatapat lang. Hindi sila nag-intersect at hindi sila nagpatong or nag-coincide. They are parallel. Magkatapat. So, if the graph of the lines are parallel, then the system is inconsistent and it has no solutions. Walang solution. Inconsistent ang ating system. So, guys, those are the three classifications of the system of linear equations. I hope you understand the three classifications. Now, for your learning task, graph the system of equations on your graphing notebook. That is 1 to 5. Then, learning task number 4, again, on your notebook, describe the slope. No? Is it similar or different describe the y-intercept describe the graph of the system of equation is it consistent dependent consistent independent inconsistent all right so that that is on your lecture notebook and that is the end of our discussion so thank you very much and god bless Happy learnings, everyone!